If anyone should be concerned about a possible fire in the vacant portion of the thread mill, it would be this business right here, Fabric Graphics. And that's because right beyond this fire door is the empty building itself. The sounds of modern day stitching machines now fill the occupied half of the thread mill property on River Road in Pawkatuck. Fabric Graphics also has a working sprinkler system here, but there is not one in the vacant portion of the mill, which has nearby neighbors afraid it could go up in flames. Yeah, it would be a great concern if it did. Yeah, that's a big place. Huge. The Pawkatuck Fire Marshal is equally concerned, sending an email to the first selectman which says a fire or catastrophic collapse of this building could cause serious if not life-threatening injuries to people in close proximity. This comes after the town halted efforts to find the building owner's Poco properties out of New York for blight. The first selectman says they are trying to get financing to develop the property, but we wanted to know if more needs to be done to light a fire under those efforts. The fire marshal has total authority to, if he feels that the, the building is in a difficult shape or is very concerned, he can close it himself. But the fire marshal tells News 8 as long as the owners have active permits, he doesn't believe he can order the electricity shut off. A big concern because that system is in a separate but nearby section of the building where water pours in through a hole in the roof. And in future meetings now, I'm going to request fire inspection documents of each of the buildings to make sure that they are safe and that we both are on the same plane of what, uh, what the condition of the building is. Okay. Are you going to give the owners a timeline? Yeah, they are actually going to be, we're going to be having a meeting next week. For now, it's a firewall and a fence which separates this vacant part of the building from its neighbors. On the scene in the Pawkatuck section of Stonington, Tina Detell, News 8.